What's going on YouTube? It's the Green Shiz here. Hope everybody's doing well. Got something a little bit different for you today. Some people will do reactions. I've done reactions to some uh, collection purchases and different things like that. But this time I'm going to be doing kind of a reaction and showing you guys a video that I uploaded a year and a half ago. Um, I just going through it, looking and seeing this video come up again um, was crazy to me. And I know a lot of people haven't seen it. It's got 139 views as it sits, 7 likes. So I just wanted to share it with you guys again because it absolutely blew my mind. This was the largest purchase I've ever made in person. Uh, I'm going to let it play through and I'll kind of explain uh, everything as much as detail as I can. And I don't remember if the video explains how much I spent, but if it's not there in the video itself, I will get into that detail towards the end. So without further ado, let me show you the largest purchase I've ever made. Small head, small head here. What's going on YouTube, it's the Green Shiz. Just made a pretty large purchase here in this yesterday, day before yesterday. Um, pretty Again, this was February of 2021. Large, so I'm gonna kind of go through some of those cards in the peak and break it down for you. So as you can see here, I have purchased two complete first edition sets. Already, you can see the heat. So let me explain a little bit, a little bit of the backstory because I don't think I give it here. Um, a good friend of mine had contacted somebody uh, through eBay to buy one of his cards. Turns out the guy used to own a card shop. Gives me a call. I live in Michigan. He's currently in, in uh, California. He says, hey, hey, man, I got somebody with a large collection. I want you to come check it out. Basically received a few pictures of the collection, did zero negotiation, and then without, the, without doing anything else, I flew out there to meet the guy. He met there with me in Bakersfield, California, and my friend, the three of us sitting around the table. There's actually four of us, a gentleman and his father. Um, but four of us sat around the table, and this is the first time I'm seeing the entire collection. So literally flew out there on a whim, hoping to buy this collection. Um, basically planned to fly there and back the next day, essentially. My sister lives out there. So I had a place to stay. Didn't have to worry about any uh, anything like that. So was able to go out there and look at this collection kind of without doing any of the negotiation up front. Ooh, apparently without a Charizard. There it is. There's one. So there was two complete first edition base sets. And these I'd say one of them was like an average of PSA really eight to nine, and the other one was probably set, not so much. The other one PSA I seven. Put all the good cards in one set. I'll give you a look at Blastoise. Blastoise is really clean. And I'll kind of give you a Char I'll give you a breakdown towards the end of what I ended up doing to most of this. As you can see, the title: <laughs> My next CGC submission and return. Charizard also is pretty damn clean. It's got a binder ding. Right there, you can kind of see all sleeves on, but right here. That card was flawless, minus that binder ding. Pretty unfortunate. Might be able to see better there, yeah. I lied. This is not the right one. Don't no. know how it's going to affect the grade. Not I'm flawless. Typhlosion currently at CGC. I'm going to determine how they grade the binder ding and determine then if I need to send this in to them or if I want to sell it raw. So this was really early on in CGC. Well, not really, but they had just started their company July 2020. This is February 1st, 2021. I didn't know how they graded binder dings, but I was learning. So I had just submitted 
a T17 Typhlosion in to kind of see how that would go and to determine if I was going to submit this card there. It gets a 6 at PSA all day with that type of day. Which is pretty uh, sure. Video and audio quality um, back so then Venusaur. was not amazing. I'd like to think it's a little bit better now, but you let me know. Venusaur. Again, this set, entire set's minty. Like, crazy, crazy good set. And here's the all the commons. Just mark Man, I miss is the I miss having set. these raw. All of them. Um, there's a few gray stamps in here. Grab Great qual. Look at this quality. Zoomed in like what? A few of the big ones. Carmelian. Show Caterpie because that boy was mint. So the first edition base is just the tip of the iceberg. So this collection was first edition base. There was legendary Diamond. collection, Neo Destiny, Expedition, and the portion I ended up purchasing was Here, all of the first edition stamp. base, and then also the Expedition cards, essentially. There was some uh, random cards in between. Gray stamp Pikachu. Slightly gray. It's more of a 3D. Yeah, it's like a 3D stamp. Look at that. That's some quality quality imaging with my Galaxy phone. I wish more Girl, like this would come up. That'd all be awesome. the commons are really good condition. this focus back jeez this is a gray stamp as well a lot more it's gonna skip past some no, of this support. first edition base oh yeah there was three two complete, complete unlimited, unlimited sets. sets I already sold one of the yeah so the unlimited sets two complete and basically I got my entire CGC 9 set by grading these Big, big collection. I don't even know how many cards. Just like a scope of it. There's an extra binder here. This is all reverse hollows from Expedition. Almost two complete sets. All basically pack fresh. I have all still reversed. a bunch of these i graded pretty much all of these at and cgc all the expeditions my graded pile that's going to get graded for sure on top of these first dead cards fun fact did not end up grading any of the first edition base cards i just run through these as much as i can and when i send these cards out to get graded they are either base set first edition and it's going to get graded or they're just minty so kind of go through this so there was basically a, an assorted binder of just all these different hollows so this is me kind of just thumbing through the addition into the addition to the first edition base the unlimited and the expedition there's snorlax man i wish oh, i am uh, favorite and it's really clean his beans always beat up. Pretty much all of these Beans ended up going to CGC except the first it's edition like base cards. It's unlimited. But at CGC, it's going to get a 9.5 or a 10. Strong statement. Definitely got a 9. That'll give it a 9.5. Man, I was so naive. Worst case, it gets a nine. Another Got a nine. Rose. All these are really clean. I wouldn't send these in if they're going to get an eight. It's pointless. <laughs> Majority of these did get nines. Jump slab, um, jump not slab. a lot of eight fives. That, like, unlimited set. I'll like, link down below uh, the one of the return videos from this. I guess some people might buy them, but they're going to be tough sells. 
YouTube is pretty clean. Definitely not gem mint cards, but there's a random legendary collection Charizard in there. Very, very nice looking. Birthday Pikachu, another red cheats. That's out of order, huh? Some first head right, this playback speed. Dragonite, everyone's favorite. There's three. These expedition cards freaking love them. Now look at them. Blastoise got a nine. Really, really clean cards. Charizard got a nine point five. Still have that card. CGC again. I'm really, really liking them. Subgrades are great. The timings are great. The price is great. It's just going really well. Back then, their turnaround times were everything for me. Oh, to be able to flip this, PSA was not an option. Part here. The two shining Gyarados. This one, I think, is damn clean. I ended up spending $23,000 on this collection. Full first dead. First dead shining carp. Regular carp. Uh, one of those shining Gyarados first editions got a 9.5. Mint Celebes, Suicune, Entei, all mint. Pack fresh. And when we bought, when I bought these, it was literally just binders of cards. Binders. So leaving the airport, I literally, I had to leave my clothes in Los Angeles and load up my my luggage with the binders because I had no space. TSA was super sus and pretty much skimmed through every one of my binders. It was not it was not good. I uh, was seriously nervous thinking they're going to damage something. All of these Neo Genesis cards were great condition for Alligator, I think. Uh, the number four a got a 9.5. Well, for the most part, it's all there. And these cards are all clean. Very clean. Tough to come by. Oh, yeah. Two first dead Dark Charizard holographics. You don't, you don't see this every day, man. This was insane. See this guy's collection on the table just was nuts and like i said this does not even show the legendary collection reverse sets um the neo destiny first edition cards i'm talking there was like a two first edition shining charizards just crazy i don't see any scratches on it centering top to right looks pretty even I really did get hosed on all these reverses from Expedition. Seriously pissed. Um, I don't think... I think I got two 9.5s out of all of the reverses. Majority of 9s. You can see it's got one thing of whitening here on the top left. And I probably should just put it in the sleeve, but I'm not. So this is going to be pretty awesome return. Gonna be extensive <laughs> that's for sure wow so that's pretty and this is i think just this is yeah this is the don't grade pile but it's still some good stuff in here so um like i said i spent twenty three thousand dollars on this entire collection which probably at the time the value of all of it was definitely more than that because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy the collection at full market value because of the time and effort to put in to grade it, the time, the cost, all of that is thought of. But basically, to put it in perspective, this was in like peak mania. This was February 2021. It was maybe coming about to start coming down. Um, but I did not end up grading either of the first edition base sets. Sold them both raw for absolutely insane money. The the one really mint one sold for forty five thousand dollars. 
um, which is nowadays you can get an entire PSA 9 set for that same price. Um, it was sold through a Facebook group, so don't sleep on Facebook. Uh, that was insane. Met him locally and did the whole deal, and it was it went smooth as a whistle. So um, cannot complain about it, but this was huge for me. I, this was one of the biggest collections I've ever purchased, probably ever will. You don't usually see these come up. <laughs> I've seen a, a few of them, but usually they're smaller, like raw collections that haven't seen the grading side ever. Um, so this being high end for me, twenty three grand. There's been some ten thousand dollar ones which don't even come close to this one. So uh, really wanted to show you this, kind of explain a little bit of the background and all of that, but. <laughs> Having to fly home the next day, leaving my clothes, and have them to get shipped to me was all part of the experience. Um, it was pretty cool. The uh, sitting down, I had a layover in like Minneapolis. I was sitting at the bar with my book, book bag, the whole briefcase or whatever of Pokemon cards. The guy sitting next to me is like, so why are you in Minneapolis? Um, he's about my age. I'm like, oh, I just bought some Pokemon cards in LA. Probably shouldn't have said any of that, but I was, I was feeling high, dude. I was like, I was on cloud nine. You could not mess with it because I was already in the airport too. So you ain't going to probably rob me in the middle of an airport. But I was like, yeah, I just bought some Pokemon cards. He's like, really? That's freaking weird. I was like, yeah, this whole this whole bag's full of them. It's like zip, zip, zip <laughs> to show them. He's like, holy crap, dude. Like, that's insane. He literally lost his mind. And uh, he's like, I totally thought you were pulling my leg, but that's that's awesome. Um. I wish I was able to record any of that as before I was really into YouTube. As you can tell from my video quality, it was subpar at best. But definitely, definitely going to be vlogging more collection purchases as they come about. Um, definitely didn't do any of the ones that I can remember at all even. So definitely look forward to that. I'll be at Collecticon at Long Beach hoping to be doing another vlog similar to kind of what I did at uh, one of the Texas ones, but a little bit more in-depth, better, more video. That one was not that good. Um, I did not have enough time. I'm going to make more time. I'm thinking about doing a couple different things, so stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's not normal just to kind of replay a freaking video on my timeline, but I really wanted to kind of get into that, get a little bit more information to you guys and kind of show you kind of where I started and this is really early on in my YouTube journey as well. So this is before I was posting any type of consistent video. This is me posting when I'd get something in the mail or a collection. And uh, it's it's been an awesome ride. So thanks again. Hope you guys are having a good one. Peace. <laughs>